Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dedrick Polite. And I'm Crystal Polite. And we're Be Polite Properties. We are here in front of one of our newly renovated properties. This is the Maple House. So we actually turned this property from a two bed, one bath into a three bed, two bath home. And now we've converted it into an Airbnb rental. We'll talk about one of the reasons why we turned this into a short term Airbnb rental. Well, we actually wanted to um maximize maximize our cash flow plain and simple um versus getting and clearing maybe 400 a month um we said hey listen what are our options so we run that by every property we add to our portfolio is this a good area for airbnb is it a good area from for some other exit strategies which you'll hear about from us a little later on in the video so since it is cold out here we're going to take you guys inside let's okay. go check it out Now we are inside the Maple House. Again, this is a newly remodeled Airbnb rental. Uh, we put a lot of uh, renovations into this property. What we did in here was we put all new flooring in this property. We painted it. We actually opened up the floor plan. Again, it was a two bed, one bath. Had a lot of unused space. So we actually put about 30,000 in renovations into this property. And it looks like a brand new house. Absolutely. And then we hired um, a family member of mine actually to do all the interior design she's also the one who did our office so you know we believe in definitely um reaching out and working with family members friends when you can <laughs> i was gonna Put say you gotta there. be very careful here hiring family or friends sometimes it can go wrong but right. in this case it worked out yeah. my wife's cousin is an amazing interior decorator uh, it's actually her side hustle, another stream of income for her. Absolutely. But she is amazing, has a flair for design. So you'll see as we walk through the property, some of her design. Absolutely. Pieces. And uh, believe it or not, we actually are still adding some things um, as we go on and just little things that we notice from like maybe other Airbnbs, things of that nature. So it's always evolving. So let's take this walk, you guys. So again, as you can see, obviously this is the living room. Um, again, all new luxury vinyl plank flooring. You know, of course, you gotta have the flat screen TV wall mounted. Uh, we have a workstation. So very important for business travelers. This workstation allows people to, of course, get work done while they're at the Airbnb, high speed internet, got a printer, everything right there. We don't have cable at this location, but we have internet. So we have streaming, Roku, Amazon Fire Stick, all that good stuff. So people can stream their Netflix and all that stuff. and. When you're doing short-term rentals, Airbnb, you want to have a house manual. So this is our house manual that we put together for the uh, guests that check in. Yes. One of my favorite parts to this house when, um, that I absolutely love, love, love is this picture. It is amazing. So, of course, it was quite costly a little bit, a um, little at a little higher price point that you may um, than you may get for Airbnb, but we had to have it. So as soon as my cousin, the interior designer, um, pointed it out to us, we was like, oh yeah, we have to get it. So I absolutely love the abstract um, art. Of course, we got a floor, a body length mirror here. And then we have... <laughs> you got to be able to check yourself out, you looking, okay? Looking good. So in here, we have bedroom number one. So this house actually has six beds in it. So two bedroom beds in this bedroom. Again, two full-size bed. We have some luxurious um, linens on there. Gotta have that butter soft linen. That's bedroom number one. All sheets are white. Um, we understand that just like a hotel, people want to see white sheets to make sure that they are clean. Just like we love when we go to a hotel or an Airbnb. Um, we like the simple touches, like the folding of throws on yep. the bed, the decoration of the pillows that line the bed, um, as well as in the bathroom, which you'll see when we get to those. Um, so always pay attention to details. And again, this is called the Maple House. It's on Maple Street. So we went with that whole maple theme of orange and, and burnt, burnt leaves and that whole fall motif. So that's where you see uh, flashes of brown and orange throughout the house. That's how we pulled everything together and working with our designer. 
Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the dopest MC of them all? That would not be me. So, uh, now if I had said dancer of them all, that would be me. Um, man, I look good. Okay, come through. Um, I'm back, you guys. So, this is our bathroom, number one. Um, this is why I told you attention to detail comes into uh, play. One of the things that we are really big on is buying back our time. So in order to do that, we outsource anything that is not one of our areas of expertise. So the design piece, right? We yes. have to furnish this whole place. Now with everything we have going on, it would have took us months to try to figure out all these pieces. What do we do? We know her cousin has a flair for design. She loves it, it's her passion. So we hired her and it took her literally four weeks to pull all this stuff together. Again, it cost us, right? We spent about $8,000 furnishing this entire home, but it came out amazing and we'll make that investment back within the first two or three months from renting it on Airbnb. Now to the master bedroom. This of course is where the magic happens. So. Your cousin, again, you already know what time it is. <laughs> That's how we got two of those little ones. Right? <laughs> but no, this, uh, this bedroom actually was our least expensive bedroom to furnish, right? We went to all these high-end furniture stores with the other bedrooms. We spent, what was it, like 100 bucks on this bed frame? Right. From the hotel liquidation sale. So if you can find liquidation sales in your area, hotels going out of business, stores going out of business. Absolutely. Craigslist. Literally, this room probably cost us about $300 to furnish, while the other bedrooms were in the thousands. Yes. So we learned the tip halfway through halfway where through. to find this discount furniture. So now we know going forward, our next Airbnb, we'll, we'll be able to furnish at a fraction of the cost. Right. Now, the master bathroom. Believe it or not, guys, before we remodeled this house, again, we spent $30,000 remodeling this house. This was a utility room. This was a room that you just use for storage. You guys will see in the B-roll we have in the four pictures. But now we turned it into literally an ensuite, master bed, master bath. Um, adds a ton of value to the property. Again, we purchased this property for $43,000 cash. We put $30,000 into it. Now it's appraised for over 100,000 because of the improvements we made to the property. Bedroom number three. This is the third and final bedroom of this house, the Maple House. You have two uh, twin beds in here, two single beds. So again, this would be great for the kids if you're with a family, right? The bigger kids would be in the front bedroom with the older adults. You have your two younger kids in here and of course the parents and the master. Um, again, we have elements of maple, of fall, of autumn. We have cow, cow skin rug, right? Look at those texts. Oh, oh, break it, buzz it, buzz it. <laughs> so these elements, again, when you have a designer, they pull all this stuff together. I would have never thought to put this rug in here. Right. But it just works. Again, you have the burnt orange, you have the blue, everything just pulls, just pulls together. On to the kitchen. So step into the kitchen here. Again, this is um, a kitchen that we totally remodeled. All new cabinets, all new countertops brand new stainless steel appliances, all new tile flooring, right? So this is a brand new kitchen. Kitchens and bathrooms, you guys already know this. They are what sells houses. They are what makes people fall in love with the property. Giving your guests a gift as they check in is a pro tip. Again, as my wife said, we give them a gift basket. We always have a bottle of wine. Actually, we have two, so one red, and we're gonna go pick up another one white for the guests that's checking in today. And why do you do that? You do it because you want them to have an amazing experience. When your guests have an ama amazing experience, that's when you get five-star reviews. With Airbnb, the more five-star reviews you get, the more bookings you'll get and the more money you'll make. You know what's funny though? Let me uh, mention this because I, I laugh every time I come in here. Who else had like, stay with their grandmother, spent a lot of time. So like I know with us, my family, we stayed with our grandmother like a lot. We were there every single week at like clockwork. How many of you guys remember these being on the wall? And they were on the wall for like so long, they turned like yellow from yellow like the, the yeah, spoon. the wooden spoon and stuff. Um, turned like yellow from what the buildup or what have you. And then Big Mama smoked. That's usually why, they, you know, 
And Terry Elmo, when I came in here, it automatically right brought me brought me back to yeah. Big Wallace's house. I just had to mention that, because I know some of you guys were thinking it on camera just like I was. Wow. The only thing we're missing is the plastic on the furniture, and I know my grandmother had it, so I know mine was the only one. We forgot one more thing is soft clothes cabinets. Um, Gotta have those if you remodel the kitchen. Absolutely, because you never know what your final exit strategy will be. So that's the approach we take in all of our properties is we make them as if we would live in them. Yes. So we don't care if it's a rental, if it's an Airbnb, um, whatever it is, whatever exit strategy in mind. If we had to move into this house, that's the type of quality we want. Absolutely. So we put top notch quality materials into our home. And I know a lot of people's like, oh, just do a rental grade, rental grade. Our rental grade which we do have one as well. So we have this three, <laughs> right. We have three different levels to our rehabs. So <clears throat> just to let you guys know, we have three different levels um, to our rehab. This would be a level two rehab. Yeah, level two. This is a level Between two. Rental and flip. Yep. And a majority of all of our rehabs, unless we are only coming in and we have to do really cosmetic because the house is in an amazing condition, that would be a level one. Um, but when we're actually, but this house was in solid condition, it, really it was. wasn't bad, but literally we got it at such a good price. We stripped it down, it we was so big. walls. It was so big. We're like, this needs to be a three bed, two bath. It's almost 1300 square foot. So we put a level two rehab into a property where we could have got away with a level one rehab, which would have been five to 10 grand. We put almost 30,000 into this. Again, we wanted to force the appreciation up further. So if at one day we want to sell, at one point we want to sell, we'll be able to maximize our return. Absolutely. Now, let me show you guys um, a future project with this same property. Join us in the backyard. You guys know we're all about doors, doors, and more doors. We're all about passive residual long-term income. So what we're going to do is we're going to build an apartment building back here. Uh, with this much land in the second half of the lot is actually zoned multifamily already, already. So it's perfect. So I can imagine how many units would you want to put back there? A minimum of, I would say eight, but let's see what it's zoned for. So minimum of eight units right there that we plan to build. So that's our long-term strategy for this property. And we would make the entrance to that multifamily off that main street. You're a real rider when, you know, she's out here in these six inch heels. We don't, me, we don't do this for play. Got me in my church shoes out here, what? <laughs> It's probably about a good 200 foot deep property. We're still on the land, 0.6 acres. So this whole back half of the property, we can build at least eight units, if not more of a multifamily apartment living. As you can see, we have the trees that's overrun it just a little bit, can easily, easily be clear, but you have to have the vision. And as a visionary in this relationship slash partnership, I saw it immediately. Yep. And I, my job is to put it all together and make it happen. Yes. So the moment I brought it up, like, huh, I said, you know what? We're going to build apartments on here. He immediately told me then, like, oh, you know, it's zoned commercial. So he was like sitting on multifamily. He was sitting on his information all this time. Like, that's what a team is for. One plus one equals three. So you'll catch that later. That's the long term <laughs> play. You gonna get on my back? Yeah. Okay, come on. Yeah. <laughs> this is so much better. If your man can pick you up, he can hold you down. Stop playing, ladies. Hold it down, fellas. And I ain't no lightweight, okay? You see these southern hips is from them grit. There you have it. That was a tour of our Airbnb Maple House here in North Carolina. Uh, we may have one more exit strategy up our sleeve that we'll talk about at a later date. So make sure you stay tuned. To be continued. So now um, our cameraman, you know, he's a he's a team player. So we're gonna need a little bit of privacy. Give us about an hour. We got some time before our next guest checks in. And uh, give us about 15 minutes. One hour. See you guys on the next video. <laughs>